Good day, esteemed viewers, and welcome to our channel. Special greetings to all our subscribers who have also tuned in. Today's video tutorial is a simple step-by-step -step guide on how to produce liquid air freshener at the comfort of your home. If this is your first time on this channel, this is a place where we bring you loads of content and resources on entrepreneurship development and lots more. So, you should consider subscribing to this channel after watching this video to enable you stay updated with our new content all the time. Liquid air fresheners are generally used to improve the quality of the surrounding air we breathe and to get rid of bad odors within our surroundings and environment. This video tutorial will enable you to learn how you can produce liquid air freshener by yourself. Thereafter, make the decision whether to continue to buy expensive air fresheners out there or to embark on producing them by yourself, saving you a lot of money. Here are the chemicals for the production of 5 liters of liquid air freshener. Nitrosol, perfume, methanol, menthol, texapone, and color. Formulation, perfume, 75 cl, texapone, 25 cl, methanol, 1 liter, menthol, 1 teaspoon, color, as desired, water, 3 liters, nitrosol, 1 teaspoon or slightly more. Kindly check out this video description for details on the functions of the chemicals used. We cannot stop emphasizing the need for safety in this channel. Please work safely whenever you deal with chemicals. Always use appropriate gears and PPEs. Work in a well-ventilated and properly illuminated environment. Please do not taste any chemical, no matter how tempting it may be. Also, don't forget to keep all your chemicals away from children and pets. Chemicals should be well labeled and stored in a cool, dry place, away from direct sunlight or sources of heat. And in case of any chemical splash on any part of the body, wash off immediately with running water and try to see a medical professional if irritation occurs. Procedure Step number one Measure out 3 liters of water. Dissolve a little quantity of nitrosol in it, just a very small quantity, say about 1 teaspoon. The essence of this is to make the liquid air freshener not too watery. You may use your discretion, if need be, to add a little more nitrosol, but don't make it too thick so that it can pass through the nozzle of the spraying container. Step number two. The second step is to dissolve a teaspoon of the menthol in the methanol. You may stir it to help dissolve it quicker, then keep it aside.
Step number three. Pour the 75 cl of perfume into the main mixing board. Add the texapon into it and gently stir until the texapon dissolves completely in the perfume. Step number four, pour the mixture of menthol and methanol into the bowl containing the perfume and takes upon. Make sure you stir them very well and gently. Step number five, add the water and nitrosome mixture before kept aside. Make sure you stir them very well to achieve a homogeneous mixture. Step number six. Now dissolve a pinch of color in a small quantity of water and add to the main mixture. Note, this is an optional step, but it will be good for commercial production to give your product that first appealing look. Step number seven, cover the air freshener, make it airtight and allow it for 24 hours for proper reaction to take place. Step number 8. Stir the product very well again, then sieve to remove unwanted impurities or any undissolved element. Step number 9. 
Of course, the last step is to package the liquid air freshener in suitable containers. You can easily get these containers in the major markets. Apart from producing liquid air fresheners for domestic use, one can also go into the business aspect of the production. Air fresheners production business is a very good side hustle that can give you additional income streams. It is one of those low capital businesses that one can venture into. More so, the market prospect is very huge. Some of you may be wondering if liquid air fresheners business would be profitable. Foremost, the liquid air fresheners business is not capital intensive. It is a kind of business you can start on a very small scale and grow over time. The business is very profitable because you can double or triple your starting capital within the shortest possible time. However, this still depends on your marketing abilities. But be assured that your prospective customers are readily available at all times. Your customer's potential is just very huge. Your neighbors, schools, hotels, hospitals, restaurants and eateries, offices, car owners, etc. Just ensure your perfume combination is unique and excellent. This will make every customer that wants bought from you to be a returning customer. The need for good branding and packaging cannot also be overemphasized here. Design stickers or labels that will give your product container that unique and appealing look. Get good spraying containers with good nozzles. This is very important as they will make your product to stand out from those of close competitors in the market. If you find this video helpful, we want to know your thoughts about it. You can drop this in the comment section. I will be glad to read from you or to reply you. And if this is the kind of videos you love watching, then do well to subscribe to the channel and you get updates each time we upload new videos.